It's that fellow from France. He was here yesterday, but you were too busy. Now he's back again. Well, I'm busy again. Tell him to try early next week. Poor man, don't put him off because of us. Well, it seems like every inventor in Europe is heading straight for America. He has a letter for you from the manager of your company in Paris. Oh. Well, okay, okay. Uh, let him in. Mr. Tesla, Mr. Edison will see you now. Hi, young fella. This the letter? Yes, Mr. Edison. Well, it says here, this will introduce Mr. Nikola Tesla. Okay, Tesla, consider yourself introduced. Mr. Tesla, welcome to America. Thank you, miss. It's Mrs. I'm Mrs. Robert Johnson, and this is my husband. Maybe he'd rather see you alone. Oh, no, I would be happy if you'd stay, Mrs. Johnson. What I would like to talk about can be of benefit to the whole of humanity. If you said that anywhere else, Mr. Tesla, I might not be inclined to believe you, but this is the birthplace of many wonderful things. Here we've become accustomed to seeing the impossible come true. You better mind your P's and Q's, Sonny. This man is none other than the editor of Century Magazine. Well, I don't suppose Mr. Tesla has even heard of Century, where he comes from. You're French, aren't you? I've been working there, but I was born in Liga. Well, who knows? Maybe Liga is another birthplace of wonderful things. What do you say, Tom? Never heard of the place. It's on the border between Austria and Turkey. Liga is the province. Smilian is the town. Well, you know what it says here? Uh, this is from the manager of my company in Paris. There's a uh, dear Mr. Edison. I know of only two really great men in this world. You are one of them. And young Nikola Tesla is the other. Okay, Tesla, let's come down out of the clouds. You got something to show me? Here, Mr. Edison. As you see, this is a rotating magnetic field. Well, what's it for? It cuts the coils at point A and induces a current which flows to the contact rings at point B. You expect that to start your motor? Of course. And there is no wasted power from long-distance transmission. Uh, you seem to have forgotten something, Sonny. You don't have a commutator. There is no need for one. This is alternating current, Mr. Edison. Alternating? Yes. Using direct current, you'd need over a hundred power stations to light up the city of New York. And even then, the outskirts are left in darkness, because direct current cannot reach that far. But with my system, I guarantee that just one power station can light the whole city. And the whole state as well. We are throwing the power given to us by nature to the winds. Electric power, in its present form, is not only imperfect... It's unnatural. As I know you will agree, Mr. Edison, we are out of step with nature's harmony. With alternating current, we are talking about energy in an undreamt of degree. We will build new power stations and demolish old ones. It's a giant step forward. It will transform the whole world. Demolish all my power stations? Just because of this little motor of yours? But, Tom... You know what they call me, Tesla? They call me the king of electricity. I've transformed the world already. And everything I have accomplished has been based on direct electric current. You're heading up the wrong street with this thing, believe me. It's, it's, it's a dead end. Where are you going? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to have taken up your time. I thought you wanted to work for me. You have an original mind. Maybe even a brilliant one. Just because you made one little mistake doesn't mean I'm going to throw you out in your ear. 
I can use all the bright people I can get. You'll be here tomorrow morning. Seven o'clock. Sharp. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Goodbye. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of each other, Mr. Tesla. I hope so. So do I. Tom, you're a big man. Oh? Yes. I'm glad you were so generous. He's a very young and interesting person. And he came all the way to America just to work with you. I would have hated to see him lose the chance. Well, I've got an eye for brains, Catherine. He's a bit wrong-headed, but... Uh, got something all the same. Uh, we'll knock some sense into him. You'll see. Mr. Tesla? Good afternoon, Mr. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson? Is this some kind of a scientific experiment, or are you actually doing what it looks like you're doing? I am digging a ditch, Mr. Johnson. That's fairly obvious. Then you must no longer be with Edison. That's obvious, too. What happened? There were differences between us. I'll go see him right away. Then fix it up. Uh, thank you, Mr. Johnson. In some ways, this is better than the place I left. If you are really through with Edison, Bob will find something for you on the magazine. Won't you, Bob? Yes. Give him your card. And please, Mr. Tesla, come up out of that ditch. We don't stop work until five, Mrs. Johnson. Then seven will be fine. We'll see you at our house. The address is on the card. You promise? Yes, I promise. Has Catherine fully explained what I had in mind for you? It's most kind of you, and indeed I am very grateful. You don't want the job? Is that what you're telling me? I'm afraid so. Do you really prefer digging those ditches to being on the editorial staff of Century Magazine? Anyone would be honored, Mr. Johnson. Bob. Bob. But it could only be temporary, and it wouldn't be fair to you. Well, I... You don't go yet, Nikki. Stay for a moment and tell Bob some of the things you've been telling me. About that first induction motor? About you and your family and that place where you were born. Lika, isn't it? Yes. Mickey spoke five languages when he was only a child. And his mother has invented all kinds of things, too. But she can't read or write, can you imagine? And his father was a priest. Of course, in the Orthodox Church, they're allowed to marry. You aren't married, are you, Nicky? Not yet. If I ever did marry, it could only be with someone like you. And of course, that's impossible. Good night. Thank you both. Please see Mr. Tesla to the door. He must be very poor. Yet he bought me these flowers. He's working in that ditch, over there. Well, let's go see him. There, that's Tesla. My name's Hiram Brown, president of Western Union Telegraph Company. Nice to meet you, Mr. Brown. 
I'm prepared to finance the development of your...